Hello everybody, it's Rich220, and here we go today. This is all pretty much organized. I just got to figure out what to do with it. Um, the tool chest I still got to do, but as you can see down here, this is all done except for the table there. Timing lights are all in one drawer, and then here we go. Generator, press, and here is the um, sandblast cabinet. I got the 22-ton uh, um, hydraulic, well actually it's not hydraulic, it's an air lift jack, bottle jack, put together so that's ready. Secondary compressor in case I need it. Um, yeah, this is still what I got to go through. I got a lot of the boxes up added away. They're all over here. And I got to figure out what to do with them. Either I'm going to cut them up and burn them because I got a wood-burning stove. Well, I'm going to throw them away. Uh, then I just got to get these leaves and everything out of here. Clean this area up. and That should be pretty much it. Uh, I still have to get the racks out from behind the clean sink. So this is going to go back about another five foot. Once that rack is out of there. It's one of those wood havens. Um, and that's the thing sticking up right next to that spray home defense ortho. Um, it's one of those wood havens that you use for the winter time. So what I'm going to do is once I get this area cleaned is they're going to go over here. And that'll be the end of that. But at least I'm organized enough now. Well, at least I have OCD, I guess. Because I get crazy when, when I start cleaning I don't know when to stop and then I'm real sore and then I'm laid up for two days so I'm not going to do that today because I have work tomorrow and uh, I don't want to be waking up late I got to leave here at like 5 30 a.m. I still got to put the glass in here but everything is in there gloves are in the light is in I just got to plug it up to the box outside and uh, put the glass in and that's it I already got the line hooked up over here and let's see what do I got over here oh yeah I got the uh, valve hooked up on this one too so it's just a matter now what the hell is that what is that oh that's a piece of rope from when I had a tag on it so even that I cleaned up because I had paint all over it so and the whole, oh, it's got the end on it right there. But they only give you these small um, outlets for this right here. So I changed it over. And the piece that was in there is now in there on top of the bag. But it's real small. Which really isn't going to do anything. So, uh, yeah, that's about it, folks. I know, I know. It's another short. But, hey, at least I'm keeping you guys updated. And things are getting organized, so I'm actually able to walk around further. I want to actually put this workout bench a little bit further down, probably towards the end, because it's like right in the way. It's sticking out here, and I don't need that. Um, I do bench press weights and stuff like that. I have them all over the place. There's there. I got dumbbells there. I got the anchors. So these are actual other parts for the uh, bottle jack. In case you got a different uh, car or whatever so yep that's what that is all the gas cans are all organized the uh, propane tanks are where they're supposed to be and um, that's about it all the gas tanks are empty there's nothing in them uh, let's see what do I do with the chainsaws all right there's the electric and the McCullough not the McCullough the uh, still the McCullough is in the case under there I got to bring that case, which is from the still, in here because it's broken, and put the chainsaw in the case, but make sure it stays under the roof because it's just going to get water in it. But that's it, folks. Um, subscribe, like, uh, hit the bell for post notifications, and leave a comment down below. All right, folks. I'll give you a wide burst so that way you can see it better. Have a good day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.